So what exactly is the foreign exchange? And it, this is not a, a difficult thing to explain, but it is different than uh, what you may be used to in other capital markets. And I think that the root of uh, the, the biggest difference and, and hence uh, probably the biggest potential confusion is just how are Forex pairs traded? What exactly is it? Well, essentially what the Forex is, is abbreviation obviously for foreign exchange, and it's the relative value of one currency versus another. Now this is, this again, this is a pretty simple explanation if we can use a case study of a situation we've probably all been in in one shape or another at one time in our lives. So uh, let's imagine right now that we're not talking about Meditrader or, we're, uh, or the foreign exchange itself. We're talking about vacation time. And we're planning to go take a vacation. You, let's, let's say that you live in the United States and you're planning to go take a vacation uh, to Switzerland. That means that you're going to have to convert some spending money, right? So you're going to be converting some dollars into francs. This is the symbol for Swiss francs, and this is the, the notation you would see when you're talking about a forex pair. This is the dollar compared to the franc. Well, what is the exchange rate for the dollar franc? Well, let's say it's uh, uh, 1.2049. What that means is, it, that means it costs 1.2049 francs to buy a dollar. So that's pretty simple. Uh, exchange rates are typically carried out to the fourth or fifth decimal place when you're getting a really good pricing. So you can get all the way out here to the fifth decimal place. And this decimal place right here is called a pip. So one move up or down in that number there. So if we go from 2049 to 2050, then we've moved.